Greetings everyone, I'm Father Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me back here in this crusade in TNO against the heathens and heretics who do not wish to see Russia restored to greatness. Right now, we currently have about one day left before we go to war with both the West Russian Revolutionary Front and the Ural Military District. Uh, let us have a good time in the name of our Holy Father, my friends. But, a couple comments to go through, and here we go. Oh, you guys go right ahead because, well, there's no one on the board between us and them. Thumbs up for me. So, uh, let's see. I actually deleted all of Borman's divisions just to let Goring win to see what would happen. Because I don't think I've seen Goring win too many times. So, <clears throat> it's unfortunate that I had to do that. But regardless, I just want to see a united Germany. Well, then again, relatively united. I suppose that once Borman is taken out, Hadrish will actually probably capitulate too. But hey, you never know. Maybe Hadrish will win. That's a lot of resistance though. <laughs> and Elsa Slothorn again. Regardless. Hope you guys are having a good day. We've got a couple other comments to go through, such as people want me to play as Japan next. I'm thinking about Japan. I'm not sure where to place them. Maybe, maybe next. I'm not sure how perfect they are in terms of content yet. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, we can do that stuff. Regional integration. Uh, temptations of sin. We don't need to see that, though. Yeah, maybe Japan. I think maybe China. I was thinking about another European power. Or maybe not even a power, but maybe another European country. You know, one that likes guns and black markets. But, yeah, you never know. Yeah, look, Goring's looking pretty good right now. So I also recommends I should play, play as Poland. I should play as Delvanga's Brigade, which I actually have done on my own time, and that's not easy. Uh, someone says I should play as Yurik, or Rurik, not Yurik, Rurik. As a King Rurik, the kind of crazy guy. And we lost his lost arm plants. If you want to read about this, go right ahead. I don't think we really lost it. I don't think we really owned it at all, but that's just me. And it looks like, well, the other nation has died, but... Ooh, when do we take out Janus Mendrix? Um... Okay, it's very weird, but okay. A little bit of auto saving, that's totally fine with me. Yeah, they're only fighting them. Uh, front triumphant. Sock intern member, of course. Endurk, Endrick, I should say. Mechanical plants. Yeah, they're coming down here. You know what? We can slow things down a little bit. How about you guys? Oh, a little bit of lag. You guys come right here. And we do that. And then you guys come right here, and then. Oh, wait, hold on, what the heck? Uh, I'm not sure why there's a barrier there, but okay. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. These guys are 40 combat with with one APCs, and you guys are 40 combat with another APCs. Right, you 40 combat with? Yeah, they are. Cool. <clears throat> Decrease in poverty. Thanks. If you want to read about this, because I've already read this in this campaign so far. Cool. We still are way over a budget, though. 35... Uh, what do we cut it? Uh, it does help out. Not too bad, not too bad. Cool. Plenty of political power, obviously. <clears throat> also, someone wants me to play as Hyperborea. Yeah, I know. I will... We're working on it. We're getting there. I promise I'll play as Hyperborea sometime. I just can't guarantee when. I have no idea. There's so many nations at TNO. And at the time of this recording, I'm waiting for the update to happen. Cutting room floor. So... Uh, hopefully, it comes out soon. So, hopefully it does. APCs go wee! Oh, and the APCs may not win. Well, that'd be very disappointing. Are you guys actually getting pierced? Oh, uh, yeah, they can pierce each other, which is not great, but whatever. Oh, APC, that's why you really just want to use tanks instead. But, didn't even use tanks in this campaign. Wow, look at all this. Um, there you go. Focus more on just building civilian factories. That would be bueno. Well, let's see, let's take a look. 29,000 versus 8,000, 34 divisions versus 14 to 19. I'm not really sure what we're supposed to do here. I might just use the state transfer tool mod and just take the territories just because to make it look nicer. So, eyes on the border. Because I don't know if I can actually go to war with them. Hopefully we can. That'd be kind of cool since they are part of the Urals and we're trying to get back the Urals. So, oh, what is that? Staring down the devil? Huh. Did they actually have you? They did have Focus Tree. Nice. The Ural League. And there goes Borman Final. That took actually kind of a while. I, I literally deleted all of those divisions to see what would happen, but okay. Oh, oh god. Oh, they're, they're fighting. That's good. At least they're fighting. Hessen. Hessen. Mm, I think we'll be okay if we, even if we do that. Even though it doesn't really matter too much. Actually, what is costing us the most? Civilian spending. As well as construction spending. Yeah, we like spending a lot on construction. It is what it is. Actually, how much are we spending? 21, 27. Yeah, even if we cut it down to zero, we would still have a deficit because of the civilian spending. Hmm. Even though we got rid of a lot of poverty already. Because we're doing pretty well with poverty. Mass mechanization is not doing too bad. 
Primary schooling? Hey, we got some primary schools. Let's see, poverty rate still going up by 4.43. Not too bad, actually. Uh, slowly going up at 1.81, 3.75. Army professionals, I'm still going up as well. It, it's kind of weird that we have this focus tree, but we don't... Because normally, at the end of the Russian unifiers, we usually get the thing where about nuclear rearmament. I guess Father Alexander men, father men, doesn't believe in missiles that go really boom, boom, boom. So, go figure. Oh, do you have an upgrade, Mikhail? Vukvol. Sure, might as well get more infantry expertise. Why not? Anything else? Six. Well, he's got level skill five, skill four, skill four. Artillery base bleed. Might as well. That time go one. Doesn't really matter too much. Hit him even harder. Just fifteen percent more soft attack. Why not? Oh, we're actually not doing well up here, huh? They must have got more divisions than I realized, huh? Oh, we're actually losing now. Oh, well, that's ah, we can't pierce them. That's what's up. Actually, do we have enough planes for everyone? No, we do not. How disappointing. Oh, well, that's alright. We'll win eventually. We've lost... we actually lost quite a few guys. Italy, Italy requires nuclear weaponry, and so the clock moves forward to midnight. 155,000. We, oh, we got a lot of factories. Wow. There's quite a few. I kind of wish there was more decisions for us playing as, you know, the Divine Man of Siberia. We started, like, in 64, 65, if I remember correctly, so... I just hope that there's more... Maybe, maybe a little bit more content in the future. I don't know. It would be interesting to see what happens when TNO 2 comes out. And we can have a good time with however he will win. Actually, I'm going to stop you guys. Just do whatever you need to do. We'll win anyways. It doesn't really matter. Free military factories. Throw them on support equipment, I guess. Ooh. Yeah, throw them on there, too. That'd be good. Actually, economy production. We have plenty of artillery, so we can lower that by 5. We can't lower this at all. We're making more guns. We're taking more... No wonder we're not winning as well as I thought we should be, since we're not making nearly enough guns. But we have killed a couple divisions off, so... Go figure. Okay, Goring, I killed off Bowman for you, basically. Please, can you take out <laughs> Hadrish? I can't... Mm, I don't know. He's the last guy here. Advanced infantry rifles? Very cool. Very, very cool. Hey, it's 71. Happy 1971, everyone. I just realized that, probably. Well, I'm a little slow sometimes. Yeah, we definitely need more guns. Definitely. I played the Siberian Union. It's a fun nation. Fun nation. Yeah, I don't think it's, it'd be a smart idea for me to play as Poland yet, just because I don't think they have any content. It's cool and all, but... Uh, let's lower this by 5, since APCs are doing okay. I don't want to do this, but we I need more guns right now. So, yeah, Poland. Normal Poland. No content. All right now. That's okay. Someday they will. And Nova Polska. Hopefully they get some content, too. Share the love. 69,000? Nice. Well, not really nice, because it's not good taking casualties, but whatever. And we've killed off more divisions. Beautiful. And they're almost there. Hey. Let's go and move in, guys. You'll be more than fine. We'll probably get all the way to Archangelsk. That's fine. They've already lost a lot of territory. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hey, there goes Hadrish. And Goring is one. Good job, fat man. Good job, Volring. Germany in ruins. Oh boy, the Great Purge. Yeah, I mean, we could probably stay and watch him take out other nations, but there's no guarantee that it'll actually happen because it might be bugged still. Oh, look how happy he is. It's kind of chunky, but kind of happy. Peace returns to Germany for now. Yeah, there's a sub mod at the time of this recording that helps fix some of the Goring path, but maybe plays Goring sometime. Played his Hadrish once, but. I'm going to save Jeremy for later. Hmm. Does Hungary have a unique focus tree? They might. No, they don't. I thought Croatia did for a little bit. Serbia. Serbs. No. I doubt Slovakia would have one. Alex Protectorat Bohemian. Bohemian. Turks. I thought the Turks had a little bit. Italians, too. Italians. Italians are interesting. I would have no idea how to play Italy. Or really Japan. I, or China. I would really, really like to see the war between Empire of Japan and Republic of China. Especially more of a united China. Actually, I got... Hmm. Because, even though they're in the Coast Prosperity Sphere, they can still be kind of rebellious at times. How about Australia? Oh, they got some stuff. Unpopular draft, looming Japanese threats. Kingdom of Morocco has defeated some people. White Australia policy, the 1961 recessions. A little bit of a peace conference going on right now. Did we win? Hey, no longer get the effects. Cool, we won, and we beat them. Hold on. 
Okay, so... Oh, there we go. Send ultimatum to them. Yes, please. Either accept or perish. Under the holy, holy fire of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Of course, by the power dictated in men. Which sounds really weird. You shall be redeemed. One way or another. I'm gonna do that. Thank you. That should be enough. Hey, look at that. GDP, not bad. Cut spending, because, oh my god, it went even higher. We'll go ahead and integrate as many places as we can. Use all the political power we, that we had, and we actually have enough political power to do so. Wow. Oh my goodness, how much political power are we losing? Okay, so even though we lost, we lose political power by turning course up every day, we don't actually lose political power right now, which probably is a game modifier rule or something like that, just because that's probably like minus two political power a day, maybe. So, cool. Very awesome. Hopefully they say no, because I do want to kind of beat them up. Not going to lie. Kind of want... I just casually just beating them up, you know. There you go. Save a little bit on costs. It's only 33 billion in terms of deficit. Uh, if I got rid of the construction spending, we would still have six... Eh, more like five billion every year. And that's after I cut civilian spending, so... Hmm. We're building a lot more civilian factors. If you build up more, you should. we should probably be okay, but... Cage the students. What type of cages are you putting them in, like... Timeout cages? Oh, Macmillan? No, Wilson. Someone did want me to play as Macmillan England sometime. Oh, yeah, Harrington did win, which was wild. Very wild. I love his, his, his hair, though. That looks really cool with the sideburns and stuff. I don't know. Sideburns aren't cool in modern day, but whatever. At least according to some. Oh, look at that. Is that Quebec time bomb? Unaddressed Quebec terrorism. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Five days, we'll have way more manpower and probably quite a few more factories. 266 factories right now. What is that going to turn into? Who knows? More artillery. No. Oh, I guess not. I guess not. We did that one. Support. Oh, we didn't even do engineers too. Should probably do that. For more free military factories. Oh my goodness, we went from 266 factories to 372. Wow. Wowzers. Wowzers and bowsers. I guess throwing a lot more of this. We have no rubber for them, but, you know, whatever. We'll fix that in a little bit. And more support equipment is always okay. I suppose we can trade away for stuff now. That'd be fine with me. Japan. Let's get Indonesia in there. Uh, let's do that. That's not bad. We'll still build plenty of planes. We still have plenty of civilian factories. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Some. Seven point five-ish in terms of that stuff. And... Uh, we send an ultimatum. Um, guys? Can you please respond? I sent you an ultimatum. Please respond. <laughs> if we don't get a response by, let's say, December 5th, I'm just going to open up the console commands or something like that and just go to war with them. So, uh, I'll give it two more days. Why not? Nice support weapons. Four. Five. Hey, there we go. 72. You might as well get this one. Even more defense and soft attack, and then grab some of this. Alright, I've waited a week. Let's go open up console commands. As you can see, I already used, uh, I tabbed over earlier to do Borman stuff. But let's see. What's it? Allow Diplo, I think that's the one? Cool. Cool. Turn it off just so that no, the AI can't use them or whatever. We waited. We got no response. And in fact... If they don't respond, what am I supposed to do, man? What am I supposed to do? I just want to re reunify the motherland. We have to be at peace too for that, which is totally fine. Hopefully we don't lose too many guys. We lost 17 dudes. And they lost zero. Okay. Whatever. Integrate them and we shall reunify the motherland, my friends. And we get a research slot. And so concludes our camp holy campaign. A divine Russia. The churches of Russia sing hymns of praise in the divine mandate of Russia. Spreads its embrace across a shattered motherland. Unifying the disparate peoples of Russia once more. Beginning as a peasant rebellion in the Far East. International commentators have found themselves baffled of the mandate's rise to power, of which the only readily apparent cause can be found in one Alexander Men, the unofficial leader of the mandate. Organizing his state as almost anarchist. Men's ideology is a paradox. A devout Christian and preacher, and yet his state seems to be equally tolerant of all minority religious and ethnic groups. Incredibly isolationist. No diplomatic ties have been for yet forged with this new Russia, leaving many to speculate just how it will affect the balance of the Cold War. Praise be to the Lord! I now work as I've always worked. With my face into the wind, I am only an instrument that God is using for the moment. Afterwards, things will be as God wants them. Blessed are the meek. 
And that does conclude this campaign. Thank you so much for playing uh, this mod. Do you know? I love love the mod. Of course, we have the credits here as well. Not a lot of colors. As well as all of our former members that were kicked out for one reason or another. We have a fourth research slot. But unfortunately, that's probably where the campaign is going to have to end for us. We could wait to, you know, core this stuff, but it doesn't really matter. It's kind of disappointing that Germany kind of got stuck on <laughs> the Civil War. But hey, regardless, I hope it, I really enjoyed playing as the Divine Mandate of Siberia. Kind of a shorter campaign, but that's totally fine with me. That just means we can move on to someone else then. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed this campaign, the Holy Crusade to reunify Russia. If you did, consider leaving a holy like. Maybe subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already. And I will see you tomorrow in a different campaign, probably in TNO. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.